Hey guys, Mark here. It has been a while since I made a video, but I needed to recharge and now I'm back to give you another tutorial. This one was requested by a fellow viewer. It is on a 9 part 8 byte Turks head. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you also how to expand this with a pineapple interweave. The 9 part 8 byte Turks head is a nice looking knot in itself. It can be tied in a variety of ways. The way I do it is to expand a 2 byte Turks head into a 4 byte one, a 5 part 4 byte Turks head that is, then into a 7 part 6 byte Turks head, and finally I expand that into a 9 part 8 byte Turks head. This is done using the enlargement process number one. We use it three times and this gives us the final knot. The knot itself is not that hard to tie. And with all of this said, let's get right into it. So here you can see the end result, which is a nine part eight byte Turk's head. To tie it, we're first going to need a mandrel, some cord and a rubber band. And to start, I'm going to wrap around the mandrel once, going over the standing end, then around, then over with my cord, so over like this, then under the standing end, and over again. We now bring our working end around and next to the standing end, which would complete a 2 byte Turk's head, but we're going to enlarge it by following the standing end, going under, then over, then back into the knot, into the byte to our left, going over, under, then over. We now have two parallel cords that we need to split and we do this by going opposite to what they are doing, which means that we are going to go over here then under, and then over. We're going to enter into the byte to our left again, this time going under, because the previous court went over. So under, over, under, and over. We have now completed a 5 part 4 byte Turks head. We're going to expand it by following our standing end again, doing what it is doing. So going under, then over, under and over. We're going to go back into the knot, in the byte to our left. This time we're going to go over, since the previous chord went under. So over, under, over, under and over. We have now laid the tracks, which we need to split. So we're now going to go opposite to the cords to the left and right. So they're going under, so we're going to go over, 
then under then over under and over we're going to enter the knot again to the left going the opposite of the previous chord so under over under over under and over We have now tied a 7 part 6 byte Turks head. We're going to enlarge it again, again following our standing end. So under, over, under, over, under and over. Basically, we just followed it to the top. We're going to enter into the byte to our left, going the opposite of the previous chord. So, since the previous one went under, we're going to go over, then under, over, under, over, under and over. We have again laid the tracks which we need to split. And we're going to do the opposite to the chords to the left and right again going over since they are going under then under over under then over under and over. The knot is getting really tight now, so I'm going to get something to help me loosen it up a bit. But first, let's re enter the knot. Again, we're going to go to the byte to our left, this time entering it under, since the previous chord went over. So, under. Then over, under, I'm just barely able to push the needle through now because I work my knots very tightly. Usually it is a good idea to use a fid if you have this problem. So over, under, and here I'm going to use a horse nail just to loosen up this cord a bit.
So with this, we came to the bottom of our knot and we have tied our 9 part 8 byte Turx head and we finish it by placing our working end next to the standing end and this is it. So guys, I hope that this tutorial worked for you. Thank you for joining me and see you in the next tutorial.